Hello and welcome to my video. We have the fall 2020 FabFitFun add-on sale going on. If you are familiar with my videos, I will put a timestamp below that will skip you ahead to the part where I talk about my cart and the sale items. Uh, if you are new to my channel, what I do is I record my computer screen and I go through all of my tips and tricks that help me pare down my cart so that I can hopefully save some money because these sales can be very, very tempting. My cart is not final. I will tell you that right now. Now, but it is close to final but I will show you all the tips I and tricks I use and then I will go through all of the sale and I will tell you everything I can possibly remember about everything that I have learned about each of the products I don't know everything I don't claim to know everything if you have input please 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 comment below and something I realized I forgot to film my box customization so I will have a separate video for you coming soon I will get into recording my computer screen right now here we are in my computer screen. I am filming outside and there are a lot of birds chirping, so that's why you might hear birds in the background. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to first point out that FabFitFun is coming out with some sort of loyalty program. This is the post on the community forum. They did have to delay it actually, which I just learned, I just saw that, but they were going to launch it with this add-on sale. But I wanted to point out this post on the community forum. And if you don't go to the community forum, I will show you how to get there and I will put the link to this uh, thread in the description box below so you can read more about it. These videos that I do tend to get really long, so I'm not gonna read the details here. But if you missed this, I wanted to point this out for you and you can go and you can read it and you can learn about it. So it's pretty exciting. I just learned they had to delay it, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But I guess we're going to get points as we shop in sales, which is a huge deal because some of us spend quite a bit of money, namely me. Um, okay, so the first thing that I do is I check to see if something is cruelty free. This is the first thing I do to pare down my cart. And this is my favorite cruelty-free resource. It's Cruelty Free Kitty. All of these links will be in the description box below. And on the main homepage, there's, if you scroll down just a little bit, there's a search box. And if you search a brand, for instance, Erno Laszlo, you'll They'll, you'll come to a page where they tell you all about that brand. Some brands are not included, either Cruelty Free Kitty has not been able to get all of the answers they need from that company in order to list something here, or that company is just newer and not yet on Cruelty Free Kitty's uh, radar. So here you can see Erno Lazna Low is not cruelty free. They began selling in China in 2017, um, which basically means their products are subject to animal testing. Uh, then Cruelty Free Kitty has added more details to how they determine this to each of the listings. So here it says why we classify brands as not cruelty free. So they have more details and they'll tell you why right here. So you can pause and you can read this if you are curious what kind of standards they use. Um, there are multiple resources to determine if something's cruelty free. You don't have to use this one. There's PETA, which is a very well known one. There's Cruelty Free International, which does the Leaping Bunny certifications and then there are, there are some other blog sites that also do it but this one's my favorite it is I find to be one of the more strict ones so if you want to be a little more loose with uh, with what you're doing you could find a different resource this one's just very very strict they have very high standards for it um, so I do prefer this one for myself and then if you another thing that I do to help pare down my cart is I check ingredients if you're interested in learning how to do that a really great website website is skincharisma.com and this is the home page links here and also in the description box below I uh, the neat thing about this is you can create yourself a login profile where you can flag certain ingredients that you've learned you don't like for yourself but what you can do is you can go to the cosmetic analyzer that's linked right here on the home page of Skin Charisma and then it brings you to this page where you have this box and you can copy and paste an ingredients list into that box so we're gonna go over to the add-ons and I'm just gonna pick grown alchemist ingredients which will come up as pretty clean because that's what they're one of the things that they're all about uh, so you copy the ingredients list, you go over here, and then you paste them into this box and you click analyze product, and it comes up with like a little report. 
Now you'll see this has mostly, uh, in the ingredient analysis results, it has mostly green checkbox for the quick product notes, the ones that most people really do go for and look for. Um, it doesn't have, it's not EU allergen free, which the EU has um, quite a few standards uh, for themselves, for, for themselves, for that nation. Um, oh, there's a hummingbird. Anyway, okay, sorry, <laughs> a little distracted being outside. So, <clears throat> so if you obviously if you click on these, it will tell you more information about those certain type ingredient classes of ingredients. I'll say, and then if you scroll down a little further, there's a little more detail about each ingredient, and there's two columns here on the left their ratings for whether or not those ingredients are good or bad for you so they use two rating systems they refer to two rating systems one is the ewg which is the environmental working group and the other is the cir the cosmetic ingredients review so the environmental working group if you if you see this, this is like a little synopsis. If you are curious to learn more, you can actually go to these websites and learn more about those specific products and why they might be flagged as good or bad for you. So the Environmental Working Group website is here. And this is the main page. Oh, we'll stop doing that. And then if you just go here and you go to Skin Deep, it's their guide to cosmetics. You can search what? That doesn't usually do that um, so you can search a particular ingredient here so we can go <clears throat> and we can grab this one which is a very common ingredient I, I see places or in, in products and then you hit search and then it will come up with uh, the, the ingredient and then other related ingredients so you can click on it and you can learn more about that ingredient and why they have that rating for that ingredient. So that's what the EWG looks like. You can go also to the Cosmetic Ingredients Review. This is their home page. And then if you go to Ingredients right here, and then you can paste in that particular ingredient and hit Search. And then this one comes up with a report and they actually refer to published journal reports. Um, in, in scientific journals. Yeah, this is the International Journal of Toxicology. So this one really gets into it and I actually like this one a little bit better because it refers to journal scientific journals and that just feels like it's more uh, validating uh, for what they have to say about the ingredient. So <clears throat> So I'm going to close that. And that's how you can dig and find more information about ingredients. And sometimes I just go to Google um, and there are other blogs and whatnot that do talk about these ingredients. But you know, you really do want to look at um, scientific experiments. That's why the CIR is so good. They refer to those journals and those are actual experiments that were conducted with those ingredients. And they, um, yeah. You, you get you get the picture so those are the top two things that I do to see if I'm comfortable purchasing a product so I'm going to close out these websites and my cart is not final <laughs> I don't know if it's the quarantine or mom brain or what but I'm having difficulty this time around paring down my cart also I just I'm really excited for a lot of the products in this sale so it's not final. My budget is always $200 for every sale. My cart's at $491. It's going to be quite easy for me to get there because I have a bunch of Living Proof products in my cart. And Living Proof, although they're cruelty-free, they are owned by Unilever, which is not cruelty-free. And typically, I don't buy from brands that are owned by a parent company that is not cruelty free but I will say that Living Proof has the best products I've the best hair products that I've used for myself since I've joined FabFitFun and I have tried a lot of hair products since I've joined FabFitFun um, and Living Proof has been the best the best smelling and the made, makes my hair feel the healthiest and look the best so I'm having a lot of difficulty seeing those products in this sale and letting go of them. But that said, when I do let go of them painfully, I will be able to probably actually get to my to my $200 goal. Um, so I'm just going to talk. Okay, so here's my cart. I'm just going to talk about what's in my cart uh, first. No, no. <laughs> I will get to what's in my cart. What I'm going to talk about is I have a couple more tips. So... 
I highly recommend if you haven't gone to the community forum, this is something else that I recommend. The way you get to the community forum is you go to the FabFitFun homepage, you hover over community, and then you click on forum. And then it brings you here and you can see all of the threads here on the right hand side. These are threads that community members and FabFitFun staff members have started. And I am following a few for this sale to learn about the products uh, that are in this sale. I do it every sale and I recommend this every sale. So um, this is an interesting looking one that I haven't uh, follow. Oh no, I have started following it. I'm on, I'm on a uh, I'm on um, post 31 out of 372 posts. This is fall 2020 add-on refreshing. This is what people are refreshing for, hoping it comes into back into stock and they can snag it. Uh, so that's a thread that you could follow. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna read through those. I learn a lot from the women in these forums, actually probably the most from these the women in these forums versus, um, well, mm, Never mind, I'm not sure, but I learn a lot from the women in these forums. So uh, I highly recommend checking this out. The ones that I am following though diligently, I am following this Fall 2020 add-on review thread. You can see I've read 447 out of 462 posts. Um, so I have a little bit of catching up to do, but I have been following it very closely. Another one I've been following is uh, the Fall add-ons, your questions answered. And this is a thread that the FabFitFun and staff always start every single sale and supposedly we're supposed to be able to go on and ask them questions and get answers because as you've probably noticed there are a lot of errors in the listings or a lot of confusing information in the listings available in the sale and you can go here and you can get clarification from the staff members but I gotta say the past several sales the staff members have not been very good about getting back to us about the questions. So I'm, I'm not seeing, I've hardly seen any answers in the past few days for questions and that's a bummer. Uh, when I first joined, there was a really amazing woman who uh, manned this thread. Her name was, I still remember her name, Nicole Lerner. And she was so amazing and responsive and I don't know if she slept, but she, answered every question. So now there are just a bunch of questions going unanswered, but I do recommend checking it out. Maybe it'll turn around in the future sale. That's that's kind of disappointing though. Um, okay, and then uh, I did talk about this already. And yeah, so definitely go to the community forum, poke around, learn some things, meet some ladies that are also subscri subscribed to FabFitFun. And now I'm going to go over to the sale and I'm not going to talk about my cart quite yet. I want to talk about a couple of um, a couple of tips navigating the sale itself. So something that a lot of people do is if you are new, I want to point out what people talk about when they mean like refreshing for a product so if you are looking for something say let's go to this is my cart let's go to something that's out of stock this Faria wellness CBD arousal oil which I will talk about um, if you are hoping to snag it you don't have it or you want more of it uh, you can click this little heart right here and the heart will turn red and it'll add it to your favorites and to get to your favorites you go here and you click that and you can refresh your favorites page and that way you don't have to go and be refreshing all of the products in the add-on sale and scroll and scroll and scroll and look for it, look for it to try to snag it. You can just go right here. You can see it's very much narrowed down and if you have a few minutes here and there, you won't try to snag something, you can just go to your favorites and refresh it there, trying to snag it. And it's a very good feeling when you do snag it. It's actually kind of ridiculous how good it feels. Okay, um, and then here is the search feature. So you can go and you can search. This is why when you enter a sale and you search for a product um, and you scroll for a product, I mean, and you finally get to it and boom, it's out of stock at the bottom of the page. This is how women come in here or men. I don't know if um, there are any male members, but people come in here and they search for a product that they heard was going to be in the sale because they've been doing their homework, looking at spoilers, and they snag it and they max out and then it's just gone and you are left doing the refresh game trying to get it. Um, so that is a nice feature too. It was gone for a couple of sales. I don't know why. Um, and also something I recommend if you're doing the refresh game, quote unquote, is 
go if you if you just haven't seen it come up if you go in the last hour of the sale and for some of you that's pretty late at night um, people are really going through and dumping things from their cart in the last minute um, that they can't afford so that's a really good time I've actually been able to snag some things at that time so that's something to look out for and now I'm finally gonna get into talking about what's in my cart so I mentioned the Living Proof products. They're the best that I've used. They're at Ulta. They're just amazing. So I will be dumping them and it's going to be very painful, but that's going to really get my cart down to a manageable price. The Avant skincare line, the whole line, I've been really happy to finally see people start to talk about this line I guess they were in I think glossy box a lot I when I searched for them I saw a lot of uh, reviews on glossy box for some of their products um, I don't think I'm I don't know if I'm gonna get this but this has really decent reviews. people are really saying good things about the Avant line it's a very high-end and it I will have very high standards if I do end up getting this sleeping mask um, this CBD relief uh, cream, my husband, uh, I, so I purchased this, I purchased two of these in a prior sale, one for my husband, one for a friend of mine. And my husband has pretty picky standards for what he uses for his back, uh, and he did did say that he thought it kind of helped take the edge off a little bit and he uh, I asked him if he wanted it again this sale and he said sure yeah go ahead and he doesn't easily say that about things a lot of times especially when I'm talking about this sale he'll just say no we don't need it um, so that says something I haven't used this personally but and then my friend who I got it for she has rheumatoid arthritis and she said it helped a lot with her knee pain and she doesn't have a lot of money and after she was done with the one that I purchased for her she went and she paid full price for a replacement so I'm getting two I'm probably gonna get um, these both one for my husband and one for my that friend again uh, so that's just that's the feedback I have on this one and I said CBD it should I, I believe it's CBD it doesn't say CBD in the in the title but you know what it was CBD before I might look into and make sure this is the same formula as what I bought the time before um, because I believe it was called CBD cream but hemp relief cream I'm not sure if they may have changed their formula so I'm gonna look into that now that I read that a little more closely um, okay so the Corez Greek yogurt forming cream cleanser I have seen some people talk about this on the forum and that they say that they really really like it I am gonna get the cream cleanser in the box so I don't know that I'm gonna get it I really like cream cleansers they tend to work wonderfully for my dry skin because they're just not too harsh they're more creamy um, it kind of you know makes sense right uh, Corez is a Greek company and and I do know that sometimes I find formaldehyde releasers in their ingredients and that's an ingredient that I try to avoid I don't see one in here so I am thinking for six dollars I might go ahead and give this one a try the Sorosi, not sure how to say it. This is K Beauty, yeah, K Beauty, and I saw this. Um, their products are available on Facetory.com. It's a it's a online shop. Uh, they carry a lot of K Beauty products. Um, they don't have a lot of reviews their products, but I did find a few, and the few that I found were good. Uh, so this one was something that I just left in my cart thinking maybe I would try it for seven dollars I'm not gonna get I'm definitely not getting both this one and the Avant they're both sleeping masks but we'll see Mio skincare uh, Mio means mine in Spanish I don't know if that's why they named it that but um, this I'm curious about I just had a baby I've lost 35 pounds since I had the baby I gained 45 but he is two months old and I've already lost 45 pounds which is amazing 35 pounds which is amazing but I need to get to working out and so this kind of seems like it might be great for that um, 
and also I didn't I saw some reviews here and there and the reviews that I did find were pretty decent one review was that uh, someone's masseuse uses this when she massages gives her massages and that it's great uh, anyway so I'm, I am curious about this I don't usually go for stuff like this but even if it works as a placebo uh, it might help me get back into exercising which would be great um, Okay, now the milk makeup, cooling water eye gel patches. These have uh, pretty good reviews on Sephora. Let's just go take a look. It was for a solid four star, four out of five stars, 97 reviews. I tend to not do single use stuff like this, so I might not get these but I have been getting um, puffiness in my under eye. I think it's just as I'm getting older. I've noticed in some of my videos even, I, you can see that I have a little bit of puffiness in my under eye. Um, and even a little bit of dark circles and wrinkles. Oh my goodness, I have it all, I guess. <laughs> so I might get these. Um, we'll see. And then I have not tried this Grown Alchemist enzyme exfoliant, so I'm going to give it a try. I do like to try Grown Alchemist products as they become available. I there I don't love them all. I, I've probably loved half of the ones I've tried, and the rest I can just leave alone. I do like this gel mask, though. The... Um, yeah, the Age Repair Gel Mask from Grown Alchemist. I'm getting two. I'm very happy to see it again. I have been waiting. I had got it when I first saw it over a year ago. And at first, I wasn't really that impressed by it. But ever since I ran out, I've been missing it. So there was definitely something I was getting from it. It's very cooling, very relaxing. It's kind of like a little, um, like if your skin just feels a little stressed and maybe a little tired. It's just a very cooling mask and it would even help with puffiness if I could put it under my eyes. <laughs> but uh, so it's very, very nice and I don't see a lot of masks like this. I have a ton of masks. None of them are like this one. And the smell is also very botanical. Uh, it's not very, very strong at all. I did see somebody say, oh, what did she say she thought it smelled like? Oh, I can't remember but there was somebody on the forum who said she didn't like the smell very much but in general I've seen people say that they really like the smell there was something that that she said the smell reminded her of so it, it didn't work for her but I can't remember now uh, anyway so I do like that I I don't know why I'm a sucker for this body makeup lately I even bought the Ofra red carpet in a previous sale and I haven't had an opportunity to wear it because I'm quarantining like crazy with my baby but I, I'm really interested in body makeup anyway so this this company looks pretty neat pretty interesting somewhat newer and uh, I did see some pictures online and it looked really beautiful on I don't know I'll probably dump this because I just, I don't know how long I'm going to quarantine for, and I don't need it. I really don't need it. Okay. And then the same with the Skin & Co. Roma Shimmering Body Oil, which I couldn't find uh, too many reviews on this particular body oil. You can see sometimes Google on the right side here will show you a synopsis of reviews that it finds um, on a particular product that you search for. It doesn't always, but I found, let's see. Watch, it's gonna come up right away. Oh, here we go. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Okay, no, it's right here. It has 10 reviews, almost solid five stars on the Skin & Co website. I do like to try to find reviews elsewhere outside of the company's own website before I really make a decision. So let's see what the bay.com says. Um, five reviews, five, solid five out of five stars. I want to see pictures yeah okay I remember reading this so I am in love with this oil uh, leaves my skin glowing all day fabulous moisturizer the smell is divine oh okay <laughs> see so I want this one too <laughs> um, maybe I'll probably go for this one over the opalins I don't know. Um, as always, your feedback on products available in the cell is totally welcome in the comments below. Please, please, please 
leave feedback. I'm curious what you think. Um, okay, and I have decided I need to start pitching. If I'm spending the money, I need to start donating a little bit to the cause that they are supporting for every sale. So I am going to give $5 to um, the No Kid Hungry uh, organization. And now here's another Living Proof product. This one in particular had uh, had a lot of people in the forum were saying great things that it works so well for them and they needn't use any stylers other than this one for their hair and it'll look on point. So uh, Living Proof, they just get it right. They, For me, they get it right. Also, I didn't really say much about the other Living Proof products. This styling cream, <clears throat> if you don't know, I say it all the time, styling cream is wonderful for curly or wavy hair. It makes your hair look great if you have curly or wavy hair. I don't know about straight hair, maybe also that, but this is wonderful it doesn't feel like it's in your hair it, it feels like you don't have any product in your hair and your hair looks amazing one thing I did I was using it over a hair oil initially and the hair oil and the living proof product reacted to each other and it was like there was like a dust coming off my hair so don't use it with hair oil under it <laughs> that's just a little tip there I have not used this particular um, shampoo and conditioner duo but I have I feel confident it's gonna be amazing <laughs> I love living proof stuff and then I haven't used this living proof a no frizz intense moisture mask but I have used the restore uh, moisture hair mask and that one was the best hair mask I have ever used still to this day uh, so I would be excited to try this uh, it's breaking my heart okay so the West Elm, Elm Bowls, peep, the people go nuts for these. They really like them. I mean, they're cute. I just don't, I, I'm not sure what the, the appeal is. I have them in my cart. I feel like they'd be a good Christmas gift. Um, I, I just don't know. It's the same with the Pier 1 Bowls. And I, 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 mean, I don't know. I had a bunch of those in my cart for Christmas gifts, and then I ended up dumping them. But... So we'll see. Uh, the, I had the Pier 1 in a previous sale in my cart, a bunch of those. Anyway, uh, so the Image Skincare. In general, I didn't find super, super across the board glowing reviews about Image Skincare in general, but I did see here and there some people say that this lip enhancement is really, really good. I love using stuff like this on my lips before I go to bed and wearing them as a lip mask, basically. Um, right now I'm using the Grown Alchemist uh, lip lip moisturizer, which they have the tinted one in the sale. I'll talk about that when we, we get there. But so uh, because I saw here and there some people say that, I'm excited to try this. I didn't find any like solid one-stop shop for reviews on it. I just saw somebody say it in the forum and then I saw somebody say it in reviews for another image product. They said that they didn't like image uh, products except for their lip mask or their lip enhancement thing, uh, product, whatever. <laughs> um, so that said, I'm gonna go ahead and try this for $6. Um, I love the London t London Town Cur products. I don't have this the cuticle remo remo remover. Oh, but I have the oil. I don't have the cuticle remover. That's the only one. I don't know if it'll be worth it then. I already have the oil, but these are $18 each separately from them. They're a high-end nail care company. I have to think about that. Anyway, so uh, I actually just learned about the heated eyelash curlers from a Leanne Says video. So this is in my cart. I haven't searched it. Let's see if we can quickly find any reviews on it. Um, Influencer. I love Influencer for reviews because I'm on Influencer. The only incentive that you get for leaving reviews on Influencer is that you may get free products sent to you to try. You don't get incentivized for, by the companies to leave good reviews in any way. These are unbiased reviews. I leave reviews on Influencer. That's how I get free products. One way I get free products. Um, but this has great reviews on Influencer. Solid five stars. Uh, let's see. Almost a complete solid five stars. One four star review or maybe a couple four star reviews out of 13 reviews. 
So I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to try this. I've never heard of it. I didn't know it was a thing until I saw Leanne says video the video from Leanne says recently. Uh, so I will probably just give that a try. This is darling. This is so cute. This apron is so cute. I um, I'm thinking it looks a little bit actually. See the way this is sewn. It looks a little sewn off with the stripe but that's okay um but the reason I see that is I was thinking of getting it for my mother-in-law and my mother-in-law is the type of person who will notice that but it's so cute uh it's 100% cotton it's made in India and I have to say I find I really like products that are made in India I know it's probably made in a sweatshop in India which breaks my heart um but that said I do really in like products that are made in India um, okay, so I have to think about that. It might go to my mother-in-law or I might keep it myself. It's darling though. It's really, really cute. And then here's London Town. This is a set of nude product uh, nail polishes. This is an insanely good price. They're, I don't know how they got $48 retail. I believe that they're, they're uh, again, their nail polishes are $18 each. So Either way, this is a really, really good deal. This is it's less than the cost of one. So I think I will I, I think I'll get these. <laughs> and then the NCLA ones. NCLA is also a really nice high-end nail care. Um, they're both both companies are like seven the, the NCLA is seven three seven free, which means they don't use seven typically used ingredients that are known to be toxic in nail polishes they don't use those ingredients uh, I think I'll get this I don't know that I like the colors enough I don't know that I like the green enough I don't know that I want a black nail polish I love black nail polish on some skin tones I don't think I like it on mine though um, so I don't know I don't know I might dump that uh, that would save me a lot. I eyed this Fat Boy Tacky Oil so much in a prior sale, and I think I might get it. It supposedly works wonderfully on curly hair, and it has good reviews. Um, I found the reviews on Amazon. One thing I like to say about Amazon is if you're looking at reviews, be sure to double check the negative reviews and make sure that those reviews aren't saying something like the it, shipping was delayed or the packaging arrived damaged, things like that, where they're not actually speaking to the product because that can lower the ratings and maybe the product's actually better than the, the reviews, uh, just the star rating indicates. So I, uh, it has good reviews for the Fat Boy Tacky Oil on Amazon. That was where I found the, be the most and best reviews and they're sold by Fat Boy so you know you're not going to be getting you know counterfeit product. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to try this. The uh, styling cream again. I love styling cream for my hair. So I might get this. I'm not sure because I I just don't know. I'm, I'll see. I'll look into it more. Like I said, my card's not final. Uh, and then this, I was surprised to see women talking about it on the uh, forum. It's the arousal oil CBD arousal oil so women were saying that this really works for them and that they are very happy with it there are great ratings if you are interested I think there's even a whole thread on it actually I think there's a whole thread on the FabFitFun forum we're gonna go and we're gonna see if we can find that thread because um, there's a search feature on the forum as well so if you are if you want to find specific conversations about a specific product you can go and you can, to the forum where we are now and you can click on this magnifying glass right here and then it brings up the search box so we're gonna look for it what is it called again sorry uh, the foria so we're gonna search for I think that there uh, oh what does this say <laughs> Sorry, hold on. I wanted to see what she was saying about it. She said she's sensitive. Okay, here it is. Uh, she's allergic and sensitive to everything. Didn't have any issues except, oh, her husband and she and her husband both got a headache. But who knows? It could have been what from what they for dinner or just life. 
Um, she doesn't know if it did much, but she didn't feel as much pain as usual during sex. Okay, so that's one review. I did see, I saw, okay, that's good to see. I did see some other reviews. Um, oh, there was a thread and I can't find it right now and I don't want to take forever looking for it. But search the forum. I'm, I'm going to do some more searching in the forum, see what others say. The, the post that I did say was that it worked and it did wonders. And then also, if you search for it and you just look at reviews online, the reviews online are really, really good. And, you know, I'm 37, and it might be nice to try something like that. <laughs> that's all I'll say. So, okay, so now that's my cart. That's what my cart looks like right now. It will look smaller when all is said and done. It will look quite a bit smaller. But I narrowed it down from $7,000. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to the wholesale itself. So here we are in the sale. Okay, so I have not heard good things about this after spa hair tile towel there are better hair towels out there if you want a turban like this i prefer just towels to turbans i'm not really a big fan of turbans for my hair i have long hair long curly hair and i just like the versatility of a towel better i can wrap the towel like a turban so i haven't heard good things about this i don't recommend it i recommend the aquis if you do want something like this uh, which isn't available in this sale, but it has been available in sales, and you can also find it elsewhere. Uh, the Marrakesh, I love this. I maxed out on it in a recent sale. It is wonderful. It does have a very strong musky scent, so if that turns you off, it's not for you at all. If that doesn't and you like strong musky scents, then definitely get it. I, if you do get it and you are on the fence about the strong musky scent, a musky scent, I would use it I can only use it on my wet hair and then let my hair dry and then once my hair is dry the scent is very subtle and very pleasant. If I use it to touch up my dry hair it is very strong and it stays very strong and it's too much for me. So that's just a little tip if you do get it. The Bento boxes, to me they just look like Tupperware but people seem to be very much into them. To me, they just look like Tupperware, so I don't, I'm not getting them. I've thought about it before, but then I realized I have a lot of stuff that's just like this. Uh, Spun jellies, people are huge fans. I'm not a fan. I try not to use, this isn't one-time use, but I try not to use materials that will just go into the trash. I use bar soap. Um, and but I do know that uh, I have a YouTube subscriber friend and she did find a way to reuse the sponges once they were up empty from the soap for her planters I guess uh, they work somehow to help the, the plants stay watered or moist or something I'm not sure how she does it but that's one way to reuse them so if you are curious about the sponge jellies though People talk about them all the time on the forum and you can go to the forum and use that search feature and search the scent that you're curious about and I guarantee you it's been talked about. Um, uh, the milk makeup stuff. So milk makeup's available on Sephora. So if you are really curious about a specific product from them, you can just go to Sephora. This mascara only has three stars. So it is not a very well liked mascara. You can see the reviews are pretty much evenly distributed over the star rating spectrum. So yeah, here are a lot of negative reviews uh, saying it's waterproof and it's most definitely not waterproof. So that's not really the mascara for me, that's for sure. Daily Concepts Body Towel Wrap. This is awesome because it does stay on. It has buttons where it stays on. It's not a super luxurious towel. It's kind of thin. Um, it's not see-through though, uh, but the great thing about it is you can just wrap it around yourself. I wouldn't use it to dry myself though. I use my towel towel to dry myself, but then if I want to stay in a towel, I would put this on. A subscriber friend sent it to me. Hi, hi subscriber friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, I have used this Grown Alchemist uh, cleanser and I didn't like the scent so much. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't something that I was very enamored by. Um, I definitely smelled the bergamot the most and I do believe that's what I see most people say about this particular cleanser. People do like this cleanser a lot though. Um, I think it would work for 
a variety of skin types as well. Um, that's about it. That's all I have to say. Grown Alchemist is an Australian company. They're all about botanical ingredients and being cruelty free. So they're great. I do love Grown Alchemist. Okay. R and Co. Uh, oh, my baby is stirring. So I might have to break and come back to this. Let me see. Oh, no, I think he went back to sleep. Okay, so, okay, R&Co. Uh, I don't know anything about this product. The R&Co products in general, for me, they're pretty daring with their scents. They put in some really interesting scents into their products, so I... I I do like to try them. I don't I don't need root touch up spray anyway, so I don't know anything about that particular product. That's just what I think about R and Co products. They um but I do like to try their products. So mystery bundles, no more. Never again. I I've bought I've purchased three and af after every single one I've said never again and I mean it this time. Never again. I never get really anything that I'm very interested in. People like the cocoa floss a lot, so if you need some dental floss, go ahead. Um, I don't see a whole lot of great things being said about the black products in general. Um, oh, this, oh, this is the hand sanitizer. Somebody said something great about their hand cream. I don't know anything about that. Uh, so I'm going to go through, if I don't know anything, I'm just going to breeze over it and say, I don't know anything about that. A uh, green goo, people go after the green goo products like crazy. I got a dry skin tin once and it sits in the closet and I don't use it at all. So that's what happened for me. Um, oh, I bought, I didn't look this up, but I decided not to get any of it. I love liquid lipstick. It's my favorite formula typically for lip products because they're long lasting. I bought uh, the Ofra liquid lips in the last sale and then the atomic ones in the sale before that and I don't like either of them so I don't want to get disappointed again so I'm just not getting these I had I didn't even look up reviews because reviews on the others were good anyway this is the hand bomb that somebody said something good about it one person that's that's all I have to say um, well I'm gonna throw it in my cart and I'll learn more about it for myself later well let's see if we can find some reviews <laughs> just quickly uh, looks like it was in birch box and this rating right here might be for birch box not the product but let's go see yeah yeah I'm not seeing readily any reviews for it yeah I'm not seeing any reviews for it readily so let's just leave that out I saw one person say that it was uh, better I think it might have been in a poll oh that's something that's really great about um, the forum is that people can you can go in and you can insert polls and other people in the community will vote and tell you which product you should probably get so uh, yeah, that's really cool. So if you're, you're, I think it was in a poll where somebody voted for that over the other hand cream somebody was looking for. Moving on. Okay. Uh, people love this exfoliate. If you are new and you haven't seen it or tried it, it's been a long time favorite. I have one I have not used yet. Kate Somerville is owned by Estee Lauder, so I try not to buy her products. Sorry, don't buy her products. Um, but that is well loved. Uh, Dr. Brandt Skincare, a lot of the stuff is well loved. I don't know anything specific about each of their products because Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free, so I don't purchase them. That's actually how I learned about animal testing in the beauty world was somebody pointed out that Dr. Brandt tests on, tests on animals and my brain exploded. I couldn't, I, I don't know. I was living on a rock. I didn't know it still happened until then. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Summer and Rose has some nice stuff. Um, Pixie, I don't know anything about the Pixie products that are available in this sale, but Pixie's just an adorable brand in general. This, I think, is the mask, the black peel-off mask, I think is the one that people say is painful and not to bother. It's painful, hard to get off, all that. Um, Dr. Brandt, again. Um, oh, yeah, we got... We got the foot cream from this company in our fall, in our in our summer box. I didn't use it. I don't know anything about it. Here's Image Skincare. This is 
Oh, this is the tinted. This is so I'm getting the untinted one. So they have a tinted version of the one that I'm getting if you want it tinted. Tarte. Tarte makes great stuff. I I I think they're owned by a company called Coz, which tests on animals, so I don't tend to buy their products, but they make great stuff. <laughs> um Sunday Riley. Let's talk about Sunday Riley. So it's Sunday Riley. They're very expensive. They're very well loved. I was very excited to see them in this sale. I ended up dumping all of their products, which I was surprised. I thought I was at least going to splurge on one. Uh, one reason was a couple of them are oils, and I have plenty of oils backed up. And then another reason is that I saw that they were, um, it was found that they were falsifying reviews. Between 2015 and 2017, the FTC found that they had falsified reviews on Sephora's site. I found an article about that, and they may have falsified reviews elsewhere so that's a little bit of a bump bummer and it really turned me off to the company um, so I and then I also just didn't need the other types of products they had available so I ended up dumping them but if you are curious they still have reviews everywhere on Sephora and, and Ulta just if you find reviews on Sephora between 2015 and 2017 uh, definitely don't uh, use those as your standard okay uh, that said, so back to Sunday Riley, here is a water cream that a lot of people do say really, really good things about. People do say good things about it outside of that window that I just talked about. So um, that could be good if you're interested in a face cream. I don't need one. Um, the Stila, this had good reviews, but I'm not going to get any lip products this time. Uh, the Ahava Shower Gel and Sea Kissed, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried that scent, but people say they really like the Sea Kissed hand cream, the scent of that. So that's the feedback I have there. Murad, people love their products, but they're owned by Unilever, and therefore Murad's cruelty-free, but Unilever is not, so I don't purchase Murad products. I have tried a handful myself. None of them are available in this sale, and they do make good products. I do like them. And they have reviews everywhere. <laughs> so if you are interested in one, you can you can check them out. Check them out. Swell bottles. I had one. I have one, and I must have dropped it because it leaks now. So that was that's a big bummer. Uh, but if you like these kind of metal double walled uh, bottles, then go for it. That's a really great price. Um, there's more R and Co. I haven't tried that product. Uh, Julep is an interest I, I looked into this they're available at um, they're K-Beauty I think and they're available yeah they're available at Target and Walmart and I think also Nordstrom which was an interesting uh, juxtaposition that I just saw earlier today um, so I didn't find a lot of reviews on that product I ended up getting rid of it um, or dumping it from my car at Laundress People love Laundress. They're overpriced detergent. Apparently, they smell amazing. They work amazing. I remember when I first heard of it like 12 years ago as a coworker who was just obsessed um, with it. A Skin Owl. I tried one product by them and I was so not impressed. I'm impressed because they're made in USA. They're all natural. They're really lovely in that way, but didn't see any results at all. Here's more Dr. Brandt. Oh, the smile science. So the teeth whitening stuff in general, I'm seeing a lot of stuff on the forum that it's a lot of it can be really bad for your teeth, particularly the charcoal one. The black charcoal one can be really bad for your teeth. Um, and then some people were saying that their dentists say to avoid them in general, that it's just over time it can really wear on your teeth to do teeth whitening. Um, aside from that, I personally think if you're going to do it, this one's a little bit uh, gimmicky and kind of clunky and bulky and you don't need something this extravagant I use the crust white strips and they worked um, or I've also heard the pens there that are available in the sale that are simpler work really well um, so that's the feedback I have on that and then let's see moving on I'm just checking on my baby on the monitor okay he looks okay uh, so 
I don't know anything about these Ahava products. Ahava is an Israeli company. Oh, you know what? They were cruelty free and then somebody told me recently in a post on one of my videos that they aren't, which I hadn't looked into yet. So I want to look into that really quickly. Oh, they don't, Cruelty Free Kitty, Quitty Kitty doesn't have anything about them. That surprises me. Anyway, so double check them if you are doing the cruelty free thing. Somebody left a comment saying that. I'm not sure if it's correct, but I do, I, I just remembered that. I have this, I have this in the pink shade. It's very, very subtle, very shimmery, very pretty. I haven't worn it like all day, so I can't talk, speak to how it lasts, but it's very pretty. Uh, this is, oh, this one's kind of funny because this, you don't save, you can get one of these and get two of them or two of the other and it's the same price. Anyway, there was a question on the, the questions answer thread that I've mentioned. They don't seem to be answering the questions on about that. Um, no one talks much about Zoe Isla products on the forum. Rodeal, I don't know. I, I have used a couple of their products and I haven't been impressed. I do know it has some of a following. I don't really know too much about it. I, For some reason, I'm not interested in that line. I don't know why. Uh, I could be missing out entirely. Okay, I don't know much about these products. Mind Tan seems to be the, the winner of all the tanning products on these sales. Um, so that's uh, all I have to say about that too. I don't do self tanning. That's just what I see on the forum. Um, somebody posted a picture of herself in these pants and they looked really cute. Uh, people in general about clothes. So I'm gonna say a blanket statement about clothes. Um, people in general say that they they seem to run pretty true to size, that they are, the quality is uh, decent enough and that they are have been impressed. I personally with clothes, I with my body, I just feel like I can see something and it looks super cute. I put it on and I feel like an ogre. Like it just I don't feel confident enough ordering from FabFitFun where returns can get complicated. Um, so I don't tend to get clothes. I did get a the a pea coat which was okay. I if I had to go back it was nineteen dollars. I'd buy it again I think. But um yeah, so that's my opinion on clothes. So I personally just kind of breeze over them and don't get them. I can feel it find just as great deals at TJ Maxx where I can try them on. Well, not these days, but I can try them on. Uh, okay, Sensuals, the brand in general, I, I think they're Canadian, uh, and they're all about, what was it? The founder's brother had been diagnosed with cancer, and she started playing with ingredient, learning about ingredients and products and then she ended up coming up out with her own natural line. Uh, and I think she found it in 2008. That's what I remember from the research I did there. Candles and scented things that are specifically for scent, I don't purchase because you can't smell them and you don't know if you're gonna like it when you get it. I do love jasmine though, that's one of my favorite, favorite scents. Um, so that's what, how I feel about candles in general. Another blanket statement about a certain type of product. Uh, here's another blanket statement, electronics. I also don't recommend getting electronics and things like that on FabFitFun. You can just, you can find comparable prices for other similar types of products elsewhere where you know you can return them, say Amazon or Costco, places like that. So I don't recommend getting electronics. I've seen too many complaints on the forum about having issues with them. Um, so that's what I have to say there. I don't know anything about this. People, this this has been a product, this Trustique Eye Essential set has been a product available in sales and I never see anyone talk about it. And it's never out of stock, so I don't know if that means anything. I don't know much about Winky Lux. Algenist, their products seem to have really great reviews. Um, I haven't, uh, that's all, that's all. They're on Sephora, I believe. Some of their products are on Sephora. Let me make sure that's correct. Yeah, their products are on Sephora. This particular product has almost four and a half stars, 84 reviews. It is for normal dry combination. It's for all skin types. Um, so Algenus seems to be um, 
I'm tr- I can't, I'm trying to remember. I remember not being able to confirm if they were cruelty free on their website, uh, but that Sephora said that they are cruelty free. But I'm not seeing that on here either. Biotech scientists based in San Francisco. All right, here it doesn't say that they are cruelty free. There was one posting where I believe they said, where I've thought Sephora said that they were cruelty free. So their cruelty free status is in question. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, here's the black charcoal toothpaste that I talked about. They also have just charcoal product, just charcoal for teeth whitening. Oh, I have tried this. The scent, I found this exact thing at Ross for $4.99, $5.99 a couple years ago. I gifted one and kept one for myself. It was fine. This The scent is a little strong, a little bit perfumey, but I got used to it and it was, it was good. People rave about their hand creams. Rave. I, I'm not raving. I thought it was good. <laughs> There's a Trader Joe's hand cream that I really, really like. Um, I have these from a prior box. have never worn them. Um, but maybe I just don't go to enough fancy events where I would wear something like that. They're kind of like for a wedding or something. Uh, Luxie brushes. Of all the brushes, the Luxie brushes are the most loved, I find. Talked about the highest. I have some. They're lovely. Uh, I don't know too much about the body oil. I'm not going to say. I, I don't remember what people have said. That was that's. This has been a product that's been around, the Marianella body oil, but I don't. I can't speak to it. I forget. Um, fake bake. There was one fake bake product that I did look up and there were pictures on Ulta where the fade looked all splotchy and people described themselves as looking like a cheetah. Oh, my baby's crying. Okay, I have to come back to this. Where was I? Uh, let's see, I was talking about this fake bake. So the fake bake, oh yeah, a cheetah. Uh, so some people said it made them here I am. Okay. <laughs> Made them look like a cheetah in the way it faded. That's right. Um, oh, and also that it, it didn't... Oh, no. Okay. Now I'm wondering if it was this one. There was one, and I'm not remembering now. I don't feel confident in that. But Fake Bake is on Ulta. I don't think it was this one. I think it was a Fake Bake product. Uh, I'm, I'm irritating myself right now. So I'm going to stop talking about it. And I'm a little disoriented from having to take a break. Okay, I'm back in the flow. I'm going to stop talking about the Fake Bake. Definitely go and check out the reviews. There was, I believe it was a Fake Bake product. They have a few available in this sale um, that did have that review where it faded in, in like tiny little splotches and there was a picture that somebody uploaded. Uh, so you definitely don't want that. Um, okay, I don't know anything about these pills. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm, I've got a little disoriented there. Um, Rodeal again, I don't know too much about that line. Paracon MD I've been wanting to get into and try. They're at Sephora or Ulta, which one is it? Sephora or Ulta? And I just haven't needed the products they have available in the sales, so I haven't gotten one. This is a well-loved moisturizer from Tarte. I would like to try it, but again, Tarte's owned by a company by called Kohl's, which I don't know who they are, but they they aren't cruelty-free. I talked about Algenist, the Dermalect products. I haven't tried this particular one. I have tried one in the past. Uh, they seem to be very effective. The thing about um, Dermalect products is their ingredients, they tend to be a little more daring in what they include in their ingredients. So if you're interested in a Dermalect product and you are curious to learn about ingredients or you do know about ingredients, definitely pay attention to their ingredients. I have noticed uh, parabens, formaldehyde releasers, and I think even 
Um, they've used emu oil in another product, so that's not uh, vegan and definitely not cruelty free. Um, so definitely pay attention to their ingredients if that's something you're interested in. Uh, let's see, the Fat Boy products. I'm very interested in trying some Fat Boy products at some point. You can tell I'm a sucker for hair care, very much a sucker for hair care. I, this is, these are huge bottles, um, and I believe that the uh, reviews for this, you can find some, again on Amazon, I was finding the most um, reviews for their products on Amazon. The review for the shampoo isn't the greatest, three stars, and then I believe the conditioner was four stars when I looked them up on Amazon as well. Um, and so I, yeah, four star rating on Amazon for the conditioner. So that's not the greatest. And then these are, these are big. These are 32 and a half ounce bottles of the product. So didn't, was decided not to get it for those reasons. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Soon Skin Care. I did look them up. They're an American company. One of the co-founders uh, is part Korean, so it's inspired by K-Beauty, but they're American. Uh, oh, made in South Korea. My mistake. I assumed they were American from the look of the women. Um, that was a assumption on my part. Um, okay, and then, but the, what I said about the, the co-founder is true. Uh, and then these eye patches. So there was a bunch of questions on the community forum that it says generation clay here. And then here it says generation skin. So people are speculating. There was a question on that, uh, your questions answered thread that didn't get answered about if this is a discrepancy or what's, what's going on here. So somebody did finally do some research and this is based on what somebody on the forum said. So I didn't confirm with my own research, but somebody on the forum said that it is in fact by uh, the same company as Generation Clay. It looks like they might be renaming their their brand or maybe it's just this product isn't called Generation Skin because it's not clay, but it's for the skin. Uh, so there's, there's a discrepancy there, and no one seems to really have a solid answer as to why. Uh, but that was something that somebody recently said that I just saw, that it is actually owned by the same company, or it is the same company. Um, okay, Pixie, super cute products. I don't know anything about that one. I talked about Dr. Brent. I talked about London Town. Terra Mare, they're a very lovely high-end skincare, organic, vegan all of that this is appears to be for oily skin very clearly in the name of the product um i have liked 50 have been kind of a 50 50 gamble for me trying their products i haven't purchased one of their products in a few cells now i i did enjoy trying them out though i think they're available at places like nordstrom and neiman marcus there's more sensuals i don't know anything about the particular products paracone uh, mine tan again of <laughs> the tanning stuff I kind of uh, didn't know what I was talking about with the fake, fake bake but overall of the tanning stuff the mine tan seems to be well loved when so the when beauty products people were really excited when they show up, showed up in the last sale and this sale no one's really talking about them I looked them up they it's they were included in some boxy charms or glossy boxes can't remember but I looked them up and that's that seems to be why and they do have good ratings um, that's all I can say about them I have been curious about this still have yet to try it uh, the life therapy grounded body wash and bubbling bath I realize some of you may be only listening to me and not really watching the screen uh, so I try to say the name of the product when I bring it up. Uh, daily concepts, like again, the daily concept stuff. It's it's they're good. They're fine. They're fine. I've used a couple of their their things. Uh, there are the black wipes again. Oh, you can get three there. Okay. Um, dishes and things again. That's kind of like a TJ Maxx thing, but you know you don't. 
it's not like clothes where you'll get it and it won't fit right. If you think it's cute and the size, the measurements are what you think they will be, definitely pay attention. Sometimes they arrive and it's a lot smaller than you think. So definitely pay attention to the dimensions. But, you know, if you see it and you think it's cute, sure, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know much about them. I don't typically, typically get them. Okay, some Kate Spade stuff. Oh, so I did see some some people have said that they love this line, Huang Jisoo. This is K-Beauty, uh, very highly rated line of K-Beauty products. Uh, again, electronics, clothes, Ciate London. They make great things. I don't know anything about this highlighter. Probably very shimmery. They uh, are very shimmery. Their, their shimmery products are very shimmery. That's an assumption I just made. Definitely look into it. I, I think that they make great stuff, though. That's made in Italy. Um, more Paracone. Okay, so jewelry. I'm going to make a blanket statement about jewelry. I make this statement a lot. This is um, something that really kind of bothers me. Is a lot. Most of the jewelry that's available in these sales is some sort of gold-plated uh, or silver-plated metal alloy so it's brass copper zinc it's something rhodium um, so it's not actually sterling silver which is fine if you're not allergic to those cheaper metals but also what bothers me so much is these retail prices at this retail price it should at least be sterling silver for a ring this size and that is the weight that this probably is so Oh, it's a cuff. Oh. Okay. Even so. So the retail value, if it were actually sterling silver for a cuff, would probably be more than that, actually. For this, for, it might be like $90. But even still. Even so. So you can see here, materials, gold-plated brass, rhodium-plated brass. I just don't understand why at these retail values, it's not just sterling silver or even stainless steel. Stainless steel would be fine. I just don't get it. So it just kind of bothers me that the retail value doesn't match the material that it's made of. Here you'd be paying for the name Kate Spade. Um, but some of the products are, some of the jewelry actually is sterling silver. So look out for that if you're interested in the jewelry. Some of it is made of good materials. But if this bothers you, if it doesn't bother you, I have heard a lot of people say that the jewelry still comes out to be really good quality and they've never had a problem. Uh, so definitely get it if you're interested. Um... I couldn't find much on this, the Persoma hot, bas hot tub bath salts, couldn't find much on that, couldn't find much to go off of on the Lily fan. I found some stuff, but not enough to make me feel confident in it. Um, I don't know much about this Wander Beauty product. The Type A deodorant is well loved. Uh, the only th complaint I've seen is that the packaging is kind of problematic, um, but the, the deodorant people, people who have spoken up about it on the forum say that it works for them. I've talked about the Sorosi project products or Soroki, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know. Juice Beauty, I want to love Juice Beauty. Everything seems to have like three and a half, four stars. I didn't look into this in particular, but just, and the stuff I've tried, I just, it's not as amazing as I want it to be. Uh, some people really, really like them, of course, as with any product. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then the, uh, I don't know. Immunocology is a really high end, um, organic, uh, eco friendly skincare line. The founder, uh, very high end, <laughs> the founder had cancer and overcame it and then uh, wanted to come up with a clean beauty line. Um, it's very clean, very sustainable, their practices. Uh, let's see. Bundles. I'm going to gloss over bundles because each individual thing is available. And I'll talk about it as an individual item. But definitely they're a great way to save a few bucks if you want everything in the bundle. Um, more sensuals, more clothes. Kate Somerville. I talked about Kate Somerville. Uh, more electronics. I talked about electronics. Nanette Laporte. Some of her handbags are available elsewhere at comp 
comparable prices. So you might look elsewhere if you're eyeing one of her bags. I did see them on uh, Amazon. So you might be able to find something there where it would be more easily returnable as well. Um, oh, Christoph Robin. There's a lot of talk on the forum, reviews on Sephora. Go ahead and look. I'm, this video is getting really long. <laughs> uh, Rodeal, I talked about Rodeal. Murad, I talked about Murad products. Uh, the Peak Beauty, this is founded by a woman who does makeup in Hollywood. So she's a makeup artist for the stars. Uh, that's all I know about it. Kopari, this is really well loved. They're available at Ulta. The thing about Kopari products that you would want to keep in mind is that coconut oil is a theme in all of their products. So if you have a coconut oil sensitivity, be wary of that. Uh, NCLA, talked about NCLA. Let's see, what else do I know about? I haven't tried, I haven't tried these Ciate again. I, these are liquid lips and I would love to try these, but I've just been disappointed in the past couple of liquid lip products that I got from FabFitFun, so I'm taking a break. The Snap White, uh, of all of the whitening, these seem to be the ones that people are saying the most positive things about this time around. Uh, Volition Clean Beauty at Sephora. Their cream is also available in the box. Voir is, uh, this is a highly rated skincare, uh, skincare, hair care on Sephora. This one only had about four solid stars, but some of their other products have really, really good ratings. Uh, let's see. I talked about, I haven't tried any of these products. Um, Attitude, they have, their, their uh, products are really well loved. The bamboo products that they have. We talked about image, skincare. Uh, let's see, what else do I know about? Um, I remember uh, this was coming with the hair turban from Aquas. I haven't seen anyone say anything great about this, uh, but I have seen people say that it's okay. But it's interesting, there are only a few left, but, so people are actually buying it. So I didn't search for uh, reviews online. Um, oh, the Save Me stuff. I did look them up. They had, I think they had a proprietary, their whole thing was that they have a proprietary, yeah, uh, in the lab. They're, uh, yes, okay. <laughs> it's coming back to me. They, um, Yeah, okay. I, I this is I knew I needed to tell you about this one. <laughs> this one there I Ayurvedic. So there was the Ayurveda hair Ayurvedic bleh, Ayurvedic hair oil available in the box, which is a ancient Indian alternative medicine, like homeopathic medicine. Um and this is this is based on Ayurveda as well, the the Save Me products. And they say that they use similar types of hair care that Indian women have used for centuries basically and if you if you know Indian women I think this is going to be a stereotypical comment but I was going to say they have beautiful hair I think um so and oh and very long and, and lustrous as as what I've observed so that's I thought was interesting and I wanted to point that out there are products though uh, you can find some reviews I like again I like to find reviews outside of the website of the that, that of the product of the line of products so this has a solid five stars out of ten reviews um, I did find them on Amazon one rating here oh and this is for all of them I wouldn't go off of this either 
Uh, not a lot of reviews, basically. There weren't any that made me obviously made me feel like I needed to get the product, but I thought thought that that background was a little bit interesting, and I wanted to share it. Uh, I did look up Verso. I couldn't find a lot. I I couldn't find any reviews on their products outside of their own red website, and there were only a few reviews for each product. So I think they're a newer line. I don't know though. I don't know if they're newer, but that's what I think based on that. See this, these earrings. Let's see what these are made of. Yellow gold color on brass. Surgical steel ear post. So yellow. That's not even. That's not even gold on brass. That's gold color on brass. Anyway, I'm gonna lay off of the jewelry now. Here are some bundles. Uh. Oh, this is that straightening iron that touts itself as also being for curling because it's twisted. But some people say you can use a straightener to curl your hair. It doesn't have to be that shaped that way. The Philip B stuff has uh, some pretty okay reviews on Amazon. Uh, so that's a cheaper hairspray if you wanted to try it. Don't know about Revitalash. No one seems to talk about them very much. I don't know about that. More Tarte. Tarte palettes are well loved. This hand cream. I love the idea of SPF and a hand cream, but I do wish that it was SPF 30. If it were SPF 30, I would seriously consider getting this. Um, and it's also a mineral. It's not chemical, which I prefer uh, for myself for sunscreens. Uh, oh, the Me products, Design Me products, uh, they're salon. I do have a friend who really likes them. Uh, I did try some. I tried some that were green, and the scent was kind of uh, floral, so I didn't uh, really like it. So I sent them to my friend because I, the scent was floral, and I'm not too big of a floral-scented fan, fan of flor floral scents. More bundles. Uh, PMD Clean. People really like this. Really, really like this. And this one, I think the special thing about it, does this one have the jade on the other? Yes, this has jade on the other side. So, uh, nope, rose quartz, sorry. Uh, so a stone, a rose quartz stone on the other side. So it's kind of like having a roller, but on the other side of your uh, uh, cleansing tool. People are very excited about it. People that have it love it. I'm not really into tools like that. Um, okay, Karen G. So this is Karen Grossman, cruelty-free, um, and it's pronounced caring, I learned. But I did try a couple of her products, and I did like them a lot. They smelled like lemon, which to me reminds me of Lemon Pledge. So if you have that kind of association, you might think about that. This might I didn't try this eye cream, but I tried her retinol and her uh, cleanser and they're both amazing but they smelled like lemon pledge to me so that was a kind of annoying Millie Rose super cute brand founded by a self-professed makeup lover um, Kat Berkey I believe this stuff's available like at Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom kind of deal I don't know I don't know don't quote me on that okay I'm gonna move on um, Rebecca Minkoff someone said they found this cheaper elsewhere I did see it cheaper elsewhere, but not in leather. So I couldn't recreate that same search. So if you're going off of that, if you saw that on the forum and you're going off that, definitely try to search and double check that yourself because I did and I couldn't recreate it. Um, there's a bundle, phase zero. I couldn't find much on phase zero. I tried nothing that impressed me. Uh, let's see. Beauty Bakery, one of the palettes is available in our box and people have received that palette in the past and they like it a lot. So if you're eyeing this highlighting palette, <clears throat> I have this bag. It's a very well-made tote. It's very nice. It came in a prior box and I do like it. I use it a lot.
or immunocology. I talked about them as a brand overall. I did buy, I, I bought my mom some of the products, but my mom is not very into all of this kind of stuff. So she wasn't very impressed. She gave it to my sister. My sister loved the stuff. So <laughs> that's how that went. Um... I was tempted to try these, um, and it's pretty neat. They, the, there are some black-owned businesses that are included in this sale and in the box, so I think that FabFitFun did pay attention to that, which is great, which is really awesome. Uh, 18B. I I read about this one. This this they probably came out just a couple years ago. There aren't a lot of <clears throat> reviews about their products because they are very new. Uh, but what I thought was really cool about them is that they were found. They're founded by a person, a woman, who has her PhD in biomedical engineering, and she uses uh, spider silk protein. This is her. And she uses spider silk protein in the <clears throat> it's proprietary. Here it is. Uh, my team of scientists and I patented a way to bioengineer spider silk protein using a fermentation process with inputs of yeast, water, sugar, and salt. So simple yet so powerful. And she said she goes on to talk about it some more. And apparently, it's silk protein is just really great in skincare or for skincare and she anyway you could go and you can read more about it this video is getting really long <laughs> okay um so i thought that that was neat i thought that was neat uh, okay moving on oh hair tools unless you can find this is another blanket statement um and a personal opinion unless you can find a lot of reviews about the particular brand or hair tool specifically i wouldn't get a hair tool it's kind of like falls under the electronics category i would just look elsewhere you could go to ulta wait for a sale and get it from ulta and where you can return it if you're not, if you don't like it or it doesn't work for you or costco i got my t3 fe featherweight from costco which is like a $250 hair dryer and I got it there for $75 so I wouldn't get hair tools unless like I said they are you can easily find reviews and you know that they're really good I did get my straightener for um, my new me straightener from a FabFitFun sale and I do love it so I'm not saying never get it but just be careful um, Linne stuff I couldn't find a lot of reviews on their products outside of their own website, but I was impressed by the brand and uh, I was impressed by some of the reviews on their own website. Their, their products that are available in the sale on their website, they have really great reviews um, and they are about being all natural, the ingredients, so you know you're not putting anything terrible on your body. This brand, Knesco is owned by a Reiki master and apparently she puts positive Reiki energy into each of the products before they go out so I thought that that was pretty fascinating when I was reading about it very very expensive so she better <laughs> she better she better uh, Sennage um, I don't know anything about this particular product but the brand which is interesting they've Sinaj products have been available in sales as long as I can remember um, I've been a member for almost two years and there was one sale where suddenly people were talking about them and how amazing they were and it was almost like there was a Sinaj employee who planted themselves in there to get that conversation started or something because People have never talked about them in any other sale. So during that sale, I did buy some Sinaj products and they're fine. I like the face moisturizer. I'm still using it. I'm almost done with it. And it's it's nice. It is nice. The moisturizer is nice. Uh, but I don't love it. But it is EWG verified for your health, which I have never seen that. I talked about EWG in the beginning of this video. Uh, anyway, so that's, that's just my little my information about Sinaj. I do like Lifestyle Co. They're an LA-based company, cruelty-free, organic, all of that wonderful stuff. 
I don't know anything about that particular product. Uh, I don't know about Vegemore. Sindagi, this does not have very good reviews, I don't believe. Made in USA. I looked at it, I assumed it was K-Beauty, but it's not. It's uh, founded, it's like clinical skincare. Okay, reviews aren't popping up. Don't quote me on saying it doesn't have very good reviews, but uh, it's a clinical skincare. I thought physician inspired. <laughs> okay, I was starting to think I was crazy. Uh, physician inspired skincare. So I wasn't very impressed by it. Their their website. I bought a Shani Darden cleanser. I should have tried it before I made this video. I will try it and let you know definitely down the road. She the, her line is available at Sephora, so you can go read about uh, anything if you're interested in her stuff on Sephora. Okay. Moving on, I finally saw somebody say something about this serum, which I've been eyeing for many sales in a row, and she said it was good, but I, otherwise I haven't seen much about it. Um, this had interesting um, information on their website. I couldn't find anything outside of the Serum Kind website, but it, was, it looked interesting. I, wouldn't, I, I dumped it because I couldn't find much else. Here's Bakie or Bakir. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but the their bags and their backpack are available in the box. People really like this. If you're interested in this, people in the forum say wonderful things. It's a beanbag chair. Well, it's not beanbag. It looks like a beanbag chair. It's a chair that turns into a bed. Uh, it would be great for like a teenager's room. I would. I keep imagining it that way where they have it and then if they have a friend stay the night, they can make it into a bed and their friend can sleep on it. Air is a cruelty-free, organic new company based in New York. I tried their face wash, which I didn't like initially, but it grew on me. That's all I know about that brand. <laughs> uh, this is K-Beauty, I believe. It's hard to find a lot of solid reviews on K-Beauty products. There's Face Tori, and then there's Yes Style that you can look at, but it's hard to find. Oh man, I'm, I was having so much trouble getting my cart down. I, I think it's quarantine. I think I'm taking comfort in the sale. And I was thinking like, I'm gonna get me a Kate Spade bag. And I had this $200 bag in my cart. <laughs> and then I, I came to my senses. And I, I mean, but if you are gonna get it all, by all means, but I can't, I can't, I don't, don't have that in my budget. That's what I mean when I said I came to my senses. But it would be really cool to own one. Okay, moving on. Um, Rebecca Minkoff. People are very excited about this belt bag. Um, I talked about clothes, talked about jewelry, hair tools. It looks like we're getting into some things that I've talked about already as kind of a group and why I tend to avoid them for myself even though that can be very tempting to get. And I, I did have a top in my bag. I had the peasant top in my bag. It was very pretty in my cart. Yeah, so lots of cute clothes, more hair tools. Just, you know, make sure that you can find reviews on the hair tools that you get. Huh. buy a bidet. I think I, this was available in the last sale. My parents have a couple of bidets on their toilets, and they're they're nice. They do help. <laughs> they do help. That's all I'll say. Oh, this top's cute. That's really pretty. I've been so into floral lately, like the past two years. So into floral. I never thought I would be that this into floral. More cute tops. Okay, now we're in the out of stock items. People really like the poopery. They say it works very well. I've seen it at Costco, if you're a Costco member. 
talked about green goo, we talked about that. I don't know about these vitamins. Uh, I talked about murads, fungalis, talked about that. Oh, this actually has really good reviews. This Laura Geller Lash Boss uh, Mascara has good reviews. I was impressed. I usually think of, I see so much Laura Geller stuff at TJ Maxx. So when I see them in FabFitFun sales, I kind of think, I kind of gloss over them because I figure they're just, they feel so always available at TJ Maxx. Oh, I heard that these bath bombs are terrible um, on the forum. There were some people who spoke up about them said that one person said they put, she put it in her tub and it didn't even really dissolve. It just turned her tub a funny color. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I heard that they were not good. That was a few people weighing in on the forum. Okay, so I have the untinted version of this, and it feels like a very, very nice chapstick. Some people dislike that one because they say it leaves a white cast, so this one would be better because this one's tinted. I don't wear mine at during the day. I Like I said, I use a lip product like that at night. I put it on before bed and that way I can really get in and hydrate my lips without being rubbed off from drinking water or anything like that. So I did like it. I do like it a lot. I wouldn't buy this because I don't wear products like this during the day so I wouldn't buy a tinted one. But it's very nice and actually what's the best about it is the packaging. The the tube feels so like high end and it snaps closed and you hear that click and it's very well packaged. Uh, okay, let's see what else do I know anything about. I have the Corksicle in pink. It's a good metal double walled water bottle. I had both of these in my cart. This rose gold one's cuter than the one I have, but I have it already, so I'm not getting it. But I did have both of these in my cart thinking gifts, but I don't I don't have any one that it feels like a very solid hands down thing to give them to. And speaking of gifts, if you are going to Christmas shop in FabFitFun sales, start your Christmas shopping now. Don't wait till winter sales because you won't get your you probably you may not get your presents in time for Christmas or, or the holidays, Hanukkah, whatever you're buying them for. You may not get them in time for the holidays. So start now. I even start thinking about it in the summer, but I usually start now. Oh, uh, Dr. Brandt. So I did mention I don't look at their products because they're not cruelty free, but this is the product that was a big hit when I first joined and I was so excited to use it because so many people were saying such amazing things about it. I don't see anyone talking about it now, but so many people were saying such amazing things about it. That's what I remember about that product. <laughs> this is the one where somebody was saying if you use their dentist really strongly advised them not to use specifically charcoal powder because it can be very abrasive to the teeth, too abrasive um, and cause damage. I mentioned blue light block blockers in my last video. I do think that they help a lot with uh, eye fatigue, looking at the computer a lot. They help me if I wear them at night and I'm looking at my phone or at my computer and I'm caught in a YouTube spiral or an internet rabbit hole and I end up staying, like looking at the clock and it's like 1 a.m. and somehow I've been hypnotized. If I wear blue light blockers while I'm doing that, that doesn't happen. I start to get sleepy at like the usual time by 10 30 11 and I'm able to break away much easier much more easily so that's something that I found that's really great about that this brand also I was really impressed when I looked into them uh, for my last video uh, if you didn't look at my last video they are using recycled plastic to make their glasses and they also have partnered with a couple of organizations to one is to help with homelessness in New York City and then another one does something else really awesome. It's on their website. So I did like uh, reading the story about that company. Okay. This lip scrub has pretty decent reviews on Sephora. I had it in my cart, but I have a lip scrub, so I don't need another. Um, the thing I'm a sucker for is buying too much hair care products. I have plenty of hair care products and I'm still buying hair care products. <laughs> That's what I'm a sucker for. 
Okay, uh, Dr. Brandt, I've talked about the Sunday Riley stuff. So because of what I said, I didn't end up looking into these too much, but I did show you how to search the forum. There's a lot of talk on the forum about each of these products, um, each of the Sunday Riley products, if you're trying to pick one to splurge on for yourself. Um, a lot of talk on the forum about them. Uh, Pixie, I talked about those things. Uh, Fat Boy, again, I'm finding the most reviews, the most helpful reviews on Amazon, and the seller is Fat Boy themselves, so you don't have to worry about it being uh, counterfeit products. So uh, the Fat Boy products do have good reviews too. So um, better reviews than their shampoo and conditioner. Their styling products have good reviews, is what I should say. Um, yeah. Oh, the Bathorium products have excellent reviews. I've favorited them. I will probably grab some if I can. Oh, I meant to have this in my cart. I'm going to favorite this too. This is the Kapari Starry Eye Balm. It was uh, featured in the Instagram spoiler video and it looks so pretty. It's just an eye brightener. It's a little bit of a, it gives you a tiny bit of shimmer under your eye and it looked really, really pretty. Um, Amika. I've, I have the Amika hair mask in my shower right now that I got at TJ Maxx and I love it. And people seem to be pleased with their products. Let's see. I talked about R and Co. Usually by this time, as I start to go th get this low, I've kind of talked about every product line or every group of products and given my thoughts on them. This might be the one I was trying to think of earlier that looks like a cheetah when it starts to <laughs> fade. I'm I'm really frustrated that I can't remember which one that is. Maybe it's this one. I remember it was the con. Let's see. Oh, this is the one where people said it looks a little bit orange. It does transfer. And it, yeah, it's this one. This is the one where they said it faded unevenly and it made them look like a cheetah across their arms and chest. This is the one. I found it. So it was a fake big product, but it was this one. So again, people seem to hands down like the Mind Tan products in these sales best. I just really needed to figure that out. Okay. Moving on, somebody in the forum did say that they liked this. Again, the Tarte products seem really amazing. Just kind of like a hands-down staple. They seem to have that clay formula that must work really well. This muscle soak, somebody did leave a pretty detailed review saying that it really works if you really need it for true issues with your muscles, um, but that it's it's kind of a process to use. It can be a little messy. You have to clean your tub. It's it's not it's not as straightforward as just a, you know a salt that goes in your tub. It dissolves and it goes straight down the drain. But um, that it did work very well for her son and somebody else that she knew. Uh, stone candles I think that is this I want to say this is the same company that makes the spray that we might get in our nope nope it's not if it is not okay never mind <laughs> they look very lovely again I don't get the scented things that I can't smell because you just don't know if you're gonna like them um, Let's see, do I have anything else to say? This is actually sterling silver, I believe. Stainless steel, stainless steel. Jewelry, that that's a fine material in my mind. I think stainless steel is fine. <laughs> um, I had this uh, in my cart. I ended up getting rid of it. I, will, I won't wear it enough. Uh, reviews are on Sephora. Um, the milk makeup is generally at Sephora. Let's just double check. Four solid stars out of five. Uh, 
I, uh, I, I remember one sale when people were saying great things about this, and this sale I've seen people say that it's not that great. <laughs> Mixed reviews. Cora's, again, uh, double check their ingredients. Their products are very nice, but yeah, this one has a formaldehyde releaser. So their body washes have formaldehyde releaser. This one, Imid is a lidinal urea, is a formaldehyde releaser. So I, that's, a, that's an ingredient I stay away from for sure. So I wouldn't get their shower gels for myself. I talked about the Design Me. I don't know anything about the individual products. More Attitude. These are really well loved. Um, I feel like we're winding down. Let's see. We still have a little bit to go. Oh no. Okay. These have really bad reviews. Um, the wax and you can get on Amazon for maybe twenty or thirty dollars, like a proper, um, a proper melting pot that you plug in that heats up and melts the wax, and then you have it there, like they have in salons. This one is something that you put in the microwave. Yeah, I, I've seen that. I've not seen good reviews about this. Scandinavia, people like this setting spray a lot. It apparently is made in the same lab as the Urban Decay one. Uh, so they have the same formula or some sim very similar formula. Oh, the Zoe Isla uh, brush cleaner. They have one on Amazon. It's not Zoe Isla, it's a different brand, but it's $20. So you can save $9. Um, this doesn't have the best reviews on Sephora. This is also, this is Volition and available in the box. Um, this particular C serum doesn't have the best reviews. It has okay reviews. Um, 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 let's see. I bet this is a very nice tinted lip uh, balm. I'm not getting it, but I definitely eyed it. Talked about Terra Mare. Uh, I'm interested in this, but what I'm more interested in is getting a hydrofacial where they suck, they use the device to suck things out of your pores. If you know much about this, I've seen mixed reviews on this as well. Please, please, please weigh in in the comments below. I want to know what you're thinking about products too. Or if I say something wrong, I don't claim to be an expert. This is just based on what I've seen on the internet from other people. Um, so please, please, please weigh in. Uh, people are very excited about the Bala Bangles. And this is a pretty good price for something like a product like this. I checked Amazon and they're all about this price range. And these are cuter. I did use this. This is a very nice, uh, rich face cream, which means it is for people with drier skin. Um, and it takes, you know, it's thick. It takes a while to absorb. It feels very moisturizing. It has coconut oil in it. Um, and then I want to say that the scent is, it's not bad, but it was like a little tangy. It was very subtle, a little tangy. I didn't love it, but it was so subtle and it went away. Uh, once it absorbed and this is a brand that's available like at Whole Foods I think there might be at Sephora now too oh, no no Ulta I meant to say Ulta I do mix them up sometimes um, this is just turquoise like we always see blue turquoise this is white turquoise and they say that it's supposed to be really uh, good if you are into that kind of thing like stones and all of that for giving you positive energy this would be good I um, this is something that for me would probably just sit and I would never think to use it this is a really well-loved palette. I have it. A subscriber friend was uh, de-stashing and getting rid of it, and she sent it to me. I'm so grateful, and it is very nice. Talked about Lifestyle Co. Talked about the Waxy. Um, 
Oh, I looked up videos of this in action. It looks like it really does work. It was pretty gross <laughs> to watch, but it's like a little spatula that you run across your face and it takes out oil and dirt. And it was pretty gross to watch it work, <laughs> but it worked. It did work. This is also 14 karat gold color plated on brass metal. Huh. $115 retail value. See, that's this is a great example of what bothers me. $115 retail value. It should be gold plated silver. It should be gold plated silver. The cubic zirconias are fine, but the metal should be better at that retail price. Um, oh, people love these sea salts, or sea salts, uh, these bath salts from Mojave. I have it, and I still have yet to use it, but my, um, I gave it to a friend once, and she loved them, too. Uh, I remember seeing people really like the this that it's saying that it it really does work. This works, so it's appropriate. Uh, and some people were pleasantly surprised at how much they like the silicone straws because you know we typically we see metal straws. Um, I have not used them. I don't tend to want to use straws. Um. I was tempted to try this. I didn't see overall great reviews. I saw a couple people say they had actually a reaction. People with sensitive skin said they reacted to this. So uh, be on the lookout for that if you have sensitive skin. D double check reviews. Oh, the oil. I love this oil as well. I talked about the leave-in spray. I love this oil as well. It has the same kind of scent that I talked about earlier. Very musky. Uh, but it is, um, and it works, I also use, I actually use this one to touch up my dry hair as well. Be, when I straighten my hair, I use it to touch up the ends because my, my hair, my ends can look, start to look kind of straw-like. And if I put a little bit of this on, that takes it away. Any hair oil really takes that away. But that hair oil, I really do like it a lot. I talked about Dermalact. I don't know anything about that particular brand, uh, product. Here is another piece of jewelry that I noticed. It's really annoying because it's the brand is called Sterling Silver. That's the brand. And so the materials can't be Sterling, sterling Silver at that retail price. I looked into it. I found this brand at Kohl's. And I found a necklace from this brand. And I looked and it was rhodium. It was silver plated rhod rhodium. So this can't be sterling silver. I'm, I feel fairly confident saying that this, that's an error uh, on the FabFitFun information page or box. DPQ is a great brand. I don't know much about the shampoo and conditioner they have here, but I do like some of their stuff. Um... Lifestyle Co. Talked about them. Talked about Immunocology. Oh, people, I did see people say that this was very nice, this blanket. I do like LMS products. I had this in my cart. It's expensive, and I don't need any of those three things, so I dumped it. But if I did, I would, I would get it, because that's actually a really great deal, I think. I was super interested in these bamboo sheets, however, it doesn't say what size they are. So if you didn't notice that, if you got or have them in your cart and they still haven't clarified or updated the listing and that question was posted in the Your Questions Answered thread, but it hasn't been answered. So if you, if you found out what size they are, let me know. I would love to refresh for those. Uh, Bios apothecary stuff. I've seen hit and miss reviews. 
I can't find much myself when I look for reviews online. Somebody said they were on Etsy, but I couldn't find that. Uh, somebody else said that their, their containers are disappointingly small, and you'll see this is one fluid ounce. So one fluid ounce, that's like a shot glass is one ounce. So some people have been disappointed with the size. I think that they're very, very pretty. The packaging is really gorgeous. So I just haven't felt confident purchasing, even though they're always a really, really great deal. Um, this leg pillow, I would, I could totally sleep with that. I love having a pillow between my legs. Okay. Um, Height. This is the same brand as the sleep spray that you could get in your box. Uh, and I finally found their website and they basically have sheets and that sleep spray. Those are their products and they are all about making sleep wonderful. And that's what their about page says basically. Uh, so, many, so many cute clothes. This umbrella is really darling. I had it in my cart. Uh, I have umbrellas. I don't need an adorable umbrella. Um, so many cute clothes. Ooh, free people mini. That looks great on her. See, that's what I think. I think that looks great on her, but I might get it and I might look terrible. That's it. That's the end of the sale. Thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you're staying safe during these times. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.